Hello, welcome to the Trip the Balance channel and this, the first in the series of Wales on One Wheel. I should probably introduce myself too. My name's Luke and back in late August 2021, I set off from my home in Bristol, heading for the north coast of Wales. All I had with me was a rather heavy 60 litre rucksack, my 29 inch Muni, that's a mountain unicycle for those that don't know the term, um, and a tent. The aim, it was to ride from Great Orme, just above Clandidno, down the middle of Wales to the south coast at Barry Island. All of this in aid of the MS Society and Parkinson's UK. Hello, Shumai Borida. I'm in Wales, Cardiff Central nonetheless. From Cardiff Station, I travelled by train up to Clandudno, arriving just in time to enjoy the last bit of sun for the day, find some delicious munch at the Cottage Loaf Inn, and made my way up to the Great Orm to find somewhere to stop for the night. Nosweta. I think that was correct. Terrible accent. <laughs> it's good evening in Welsh, anyway. Good evening from Clandudno. Um, I've just got up to the coast. There it is behind me, that'll be the sea. Uh, right there. Um, it's beautiful up here, really lovely. You see the promenade and stuff along here. That there is Great Orm. Which way am I pointing? That way. <laughs> That's where I'm starting tomorrow, on the far side of that. Um, I'll set off on my unicycle. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go and get some supplies for breakfast tomorrow. I'm going to go and get some dinner. I think I found a nice little, nice little pub tucked away. It looks great, a little gastro place and treat myself to a good old feed up. Um, tomorrow morning I am going to set off pretty early, get down through the town and stuff and get out to the countryside. Once I'm out past Conwy, I am going to do a little live feed. So I'll update you then. Catch ya. After fueling up on food at the lovely little pub and uh, chatting with a few of the holiday makers and locals, um, at the promenade in Clandudno I made my way up to Great Orm just in time for the sunset and uh, this is what I, what I arrived to. Hello, so uh, the sun is setting on uh, on my final day before my ride, um, I've uh, I've just checked myself in to this uh, rather beautiful little uh, beachfront sea views uh, apartment. <laughs> it's not an apartment; it's my tent. Um, it's it's lovely. <laughs> I couldn't have asked for anything better. Um, I think down here I'm going to explore in a minute. Got my own little private beach. Where are we pointing? That way. I'm terrible at doing that. Um, yeah, I've got some pretty flat ground right here. Uh, just make sure I don't get up and walk that way in the night. It is um, an absolutely beautiful evening here in Clamdudno. Um, I haven't used the GoPro all day because I've been traveling. It's been a long day. It's very busy on the trains. Um, there's been like a festival in near Abergavenny and some other gatherings going on. Anyway, the trains were delayed, they were packed, but it was all good. I got here, I'm happy, very happy, absolutely buzzing. Um, as you can see, I found myself a little spot. Seafront, private beach in the background. Um, and these beautiful cliffs behind me. It's insane. This is Great Orm in, uh, in Clandudno. Um, and yeah, as people have told me, it is insanely beautiful. Um, the sea as I was walking up is turquoise. Um, the, the sunset was just magic. I got a little picture. Um, I wish I had more time to uh, unicycle on the promenade because it's packed with holiday makers, young and old. Um, I had a lovely chat to a couple. Um, I'm going to forget their names now. Cyril and Cindy. Cindy and Cyril. Really sweet. Gave me a little donation. Bless them. Um, I don't know if I'll ever watch this, but thanks guys. Really lovely to meet you. Um, yeah, I've uh, just had my picture taken uh, with a couple of guys actually. Two young lads are going on a bike ride, they're local. Uh, Tom and Dan, I think. 
Sorry if I got your names wrong. <laughs> um, anyway, they've been out cycling around the Orms. Um, top top blokes. They've they've taken a picture of me and sh going to share my story and all the rest of it. Follow on Facebook. Um, and another chap just up here, Jordan, out with his family. Um, yeah. Anyway, really lovely. Um, I am going to get set for the night before it gets too dark. I'm going to wait a little bit because yeah, the rules of wild camping. Um, well, the rules are you shouldn't really do it, but anyway, uh, leave no trace, uh, set up as late as you can, leave as early as you can, which I will be doing anyway. So, um, yeah, um, I think leave no trace is important whenever you out and about, anyway, you know, as little impact as possible. Good morning. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, yeah, not a bad place to spend the night. Can't really see my face, probably, but um, you can see the sun rising behind me. Uh, it's half past five. Um, it's just me and a couple of sheep down here. Yeah, but yeah, we can see the sheep. Just there we go. Um, <laughs> So um, yeah, I'm going to head on up the, the headland uh, this way, back past the sheep up, up here. I'm going to go to the tip of that and then probably ride back round the other side. That's how I'm going to start my trip. Um, I'll do another video in a minute. I've got a cup of coffee here. I'm going to finish that off, pack this little bad boy away. I've already packed away my bag and uh, mat and all that business inside. Um, yeah, get a little bit of food down me quickly. I'm going to head off. I want to get going before there's sort of people in town and traffic and stuff just to get through, get started on my first day. Um, and then, um, yeah, I can always stop for a bit of food in a bit. Nearly there now. Got, got my stuff up on the rocks here. Got my old fishing vest on. <laughs> um, such, a, such a good buy, this. Ben and Harry, legends, both recommending it. <laughs> um, another little shot of the sunrise before it develops. In, in, develops? Develops. <laughs> Coffee's not quite cute in. Um, yeah, before it develops into a full blown, lovely sunny day. Um, let's go and say hello to these little sheepy as well. Sean and something. <laughs> Sean the sheep. There we go. Hello guys. They just slept very quietly down here. Anyway. Morning folks. Look at it, it's beautiful, isn't it? Let's have a little stroll down here as well because you're not gonna see it again on this trip. <laughs> You're all right, guys. You're all right. Um, there we go. Look, little beach down here. Oh, but yeah, a pebbly beach. It's like Brighton, but with a few less people. <laughs> um, yeah, it's awesome. Awesome little beach. Look at that little sort of caves or caverns. Um, and these beautiful flat bits of rock. Oh, there's a seal. I really hope you can see that on the camera. He's a big old chap. Hello, mate. Awesome. <laughs> what a greeting. Hopefully, we can see him moving around. That is very cool. So, anyway, this is Great Orm. And you're watching whales on one wheel. <laughs> oh, you can probably see the sun coming up behind me. It's about 6.40. Just doing a little, little warm up. Uh, quite an uphill one. Going up to the headland at the tip of Great Orm um, to start my ride. Um, yeah, to start the Wales on one wheel trip. 
I'm um, about to stop up here. I'm like nearly at the top. Hey, it's beautiful. Look at this. Oh, I don't know if you can see. Oh, <laughs> down, down here on this little headland, there's like a little sort of plinth, like really flat bit of rock, surrounded by some really craggy rock. Looks awesome. It's like some kind of arena or a Game of Thrones or something. Anyway, it is dramatic, beautiful. Uh, got a tiny bit more hill, and I'll be up the top. Let's do this. So I made it up to the tip of Great Orm, ready to set off on my Wales on one wheel journey. Um, I was pretty emotional at this point, um, and as you'll see in this rather cheesy clip, um, that that's probably coming through. <laughs> um, anyway, I hope you enjoy. Cheers. Hello, and you can see behind me, I'm at rest and be thankful. I'm at the top of uh, Great Orm, uh, about to start Wales on one wheel. Um, morning. morning, mate. Um, there's me one wheel. Um, yeah, <laughs> a little bit emotional. Um, yeah, just amazing. So, just going back to the name, what I'm going to be doing, certainly not restful um, for the next seven to ten days. I'm incredibly thankful to have the chance and the opportunity to do this, and also for everyone who's got involved donating already um, and sharing liking commenting just all the support well wishes everything just well mind blown um yeah and uh yeah let's hope let's hope it continues um yeah oh <laughs> i'm gonna set off anyway um i'll do a little video as i'm going down the down the hill maybe and um it's about quarter to seven i think so it's a bit early um there's also no signal up here um in a bit uh, when I get through the sort of busier roads at the end of uh, this headland, I'm going to uh, maybe do a little live stream. So yeah, cool. Wales on one wheel. Let's do it. Oh, I'm uh, I'm on. I'm riding. Uh, you can probably see behind me the, the headland. Um, oh, the scenery ahead of me is insane. Let's let's give you a shot of that. Hold on. Oh mate, those hills, wowzers. So I'm assuming this bit of land here sticking out, I think that is Anglesey, little island at the northwest of Wales. And that is just epic. Oh my goodness. So yeah, I'm heading down the kind of western edge of Great Orm, so a bit of wind there. Um, so this is like a little estuary ahead here, you can see there. Um, and on the uh, the right hand side, is uh, that's Conwy. Um, I'm gonna stop down there and check out the castle. Looks really pretty from what I've seen and heard. Um, let's go back to it. Um, anyway, um, yeah, that's that. I'm gonna do a little live stream in a bit. I mean, these videos you will be uh, after that because I'm on the GoPro now. Um, yeah, so it's about about 7 a.m. Um, I'm feeling pretty pretty good considering I've only had a few hours broken sleep in a, on a rather windy but beautiful cliff <laughs> and uh, with some uh, bed mat issues uh, which were kind of half fixed but evidently not half fixed. <laughs> Anyway, it's all good. Oh, there's some goats. Amazing. Check out the goats. <laughs> Horns and a beard and everything. Hello, mate. Yes. Look up whales on one wheel. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm gonna. Oh, they're making noises this morning. I'm getting noises. I never heard a goat make a noise like that. Right, um, I'm going to get off for this video and uh, enjoy my little descent into, he says going up a little hill, but it's mainly a descent, in it? going uh, down to Clandugno. Um, yeah, awesome, right.
Turns out it's quite windy on the western edge of, uh, <laughs> of Great Horn uh, compared to the other side. Anyway, um, this ahead of me is the estuary. Maybe get a better view of it now. Um, and yeah, so this side is Clandudno. That side is Conwy. You can just at the sort of where it narrows down that way, where the two meet. See the bridge and a bit of the castle really faintly. I don't know if you'll see it on this video. Um, but yeah, you'll see it shortly when we're up close. Oh, what a beautiful morning, even with the wind. <laughs> awesome. Um, very nice little descent on this side, actually. Not too bad. Um, yeah, see you in a bit. down to the estuary now. Made it pretty much down off the Great Horn. That was an awesome little, little descent. I love this stuff. Um, yeah. Oh, amazing. Couldn't have asked for a better place to start, man. I'm, uh, no offence to the uh, people of Talica, I think it's pronounced, but um, I nearly started there because I read on like Wikipedia or something. But I think, I might be wrong, I mean it's pretty bloody close, but it looks like Great Orm is actually more north. But Clandedno, which is the I guess the nearest settlement, is actually a little bit south of Calico if you if you were to draw a line, I think. Anyway. Uh, if anyone knows the answer to that, let me know. <laughs> um, cool. Alright, I'm gonna crack on. Yeah, I had a little stop just there at the end of Great Orm after like my first mile and a half, two miles, just so I could, uh, I got some signal back. So I was just letting some friends and family know that I survived the night and uh, that I'm okay and that I'm on my way. And uh, posted my first couple of little videos on Insta and Facebook, um, just for the ones from my phone when I set off. So uh, yeah, a little stop there, it's lovely. Um, just check the map as well, make sure I knew which way I'm heading right now. And um, realise that there's this beautiful little kind of promenade, I guess, along the, the estuary front here. Uh, and it's like, it's basically a bike path all the way down to, uh, to Conway Castle. So, happy days. Morning. Um, yeah, and uh, what else was I going to say? Just that, um, yeah, so this, I think, is, is like the sort of edge of Clandudno. But then, what I could see, which I mentioned earlier, on this side of the estuary, that's not Clandudno. That is a, another little settlement called, I think, the Ganwy. The Ganwy? Um, apologies if I got that wrong, people of the Ganwy. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'll be going through there. And then back to um, just near the Fandedno Junction station where I arrived yesterday, um, and then over the bridge to Conway, Conway Castle. So uh, yeah, I'll probably, well, I say I'll, I'll catch up with you then, I'll probably do another video in about two minutes. But um, yeah, there we go, let's do a little shot around here. Hold on, it's a bit rocky. Oh, right. right, let me just show you the scenery quickly across which That's a bad timing. <laughs> Wowzers, look at those mountains. Awesome. Oh, hey. <laughs> this is a... Uh, Part of the Wales coastal path. No, I'm not. Let's get a bit of extension going there. Um, there's, there's, there's a golf course next to me as well, and there's signs like, "Please be continually, continually aware of flying a golf course." Lovely. Just what you want to read when you're on a rocky path on a unicycle. Uh, haven't had any fly past me yet. Uh, there we go. I've just jinxed it, haven't I? So uh, yeah, cue a golf ball hitting me on the head any second. 
Oh, good. <laughs> um, I just, uh, I just uh, had a section where it was like really heavy sand, so I got off and walked. And when it got back to this gravelly bit, I uh, went to jump on the unicycle, and I've got like some bungee cords on the back holding like my stuff on the on the little pannier rack. And they, one of them, they've got hooks on the back of them as well, like you hang stuff on, I think. Bloody hooked on my shorts, and I went straight over the unicycle. Luckily, I've got protection on my wrist that I already broke last year um, with a fall on a campsite. And uh, yeah, anyway, they stacked it. Basically, did the unicycle equivalent of going over the handlebars. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, no injuries or anything. Uh, scuffed my knee a little bit. I've got leggings on, so no cuts. I'm all good. But yeah, it was a bit of a shock. Anyway, here I am, Sunny de Ganway, if that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> um, yeah, right. Cracking on, nearly down at Conway anyway. Uh, I'm going to stop at the old Tesco's there, use their facilities. And, um, oh. There's a man in the way. Hello, mate. Oh, it's all good now. Hey. <laughs> oh, I was about to say that, but I thought I'd be kind. <laughs> Closer, I'm getting to these uh, these mountains over on my right. Just the more beautiful they get. Really see all the the purple heather on them. It's beautiful. Whoa! Wow! Even out here on the lovely Clandunno, there is glass everywhere on the road. It looks like it's been a uh, recycling day, and it looks like the bin men have recycled some of the glass on the floor. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Uh, yeah, not great. Hopefully I didn't just ride through some. Anyway. So that is looking back towards Orm. Uh, that's the Ganwe. The Ganwe Key. Uh, and then around here going straight towards the castle now uh, oh, don't know what that path is let's go this way so we can get a good shot of the castle look at it it's like robin hood prince of thieves or something oh. yeah that's enough of that <laughs> awesome Good. Morning. I'm all stocked up for lunch, all stocked up for din dins. Uh, stocked up on water. Got a little camel pack there. Sweet, nice one, Howard, for uh, sorting that out for me. Um, yeah, I'm heading towards this amazing castle. I've already shown you. There we go. Um, the estuary over here. Hey, it's beautiful. A bit of cloud around now, uh, you know. I can't complain. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna get up close to this castle, go and check out. Like this looks like there's like little ramparts along the front there as well. So it looks like this whole settlement was once all like this massive medieval thing. Like, it's either a wall around the city or it's just part of the castle and what we can see as castle is just what's remaining. I will find out shortly. So Conway is quite nice. Look at this So the castle you can see behind me is um, it's pre-booked tickets only at the moment 
Uh, I haven't pre-booked and I haven't really got time to be jumping online and faffing around. So, I'm going to skip the castle. It's very cool though. Um, it's a shame. I wanted to go and have a look inside. But, you know, Conway is pretty cool. I'm going to go and have a look down this little main strip over the road. Let's go. And, um, and then I'm going to head on out anyway. I am running behind my sort of schedule. There's no rush. I mean, I'm not on. Wales on one wheel is not a race. It's hard enough on one wheel. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I also, you know, want to crack on. Uh, so let's go and have a little look down here. Uh, and then we're going to head on out into uh, Snowdonia National Park. Look at the castle before we head on out of Conway. Yes, Jerry. It's a bit grim down there. <laughs> mm. Definitely won't be swimming in that water. Um, right, let's head on out. There we go. A little, little spot of bowls before we go. No, I'm all right, thanks. Very brief video. Busy road. Got a gap in the traffic. Got out of Conway. My God. It is super touristy there, so it's super busy. Um, I nearly lost it, couldn't, couldn't get started because there's just too much traffic. No, no path or pavement to sort of launch off and go till there was a gap. Uh, anyway, I got a little bit out of the center and managed to get going. Blooming big old hill out, up out of it. So, uh, I mean, I started my day with a hill on Great Horn uh, as a warm up, <laughs> so uh, it's all good. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you the scenery to my right, but uh, there are some trees, so I'll cut back on in a minute if there's a break in the traffic and a break in the trees. See ya! Oh, a little bit here. Oh. There'll be more mountains this way. It's nice to be out, cool. of, uh, out of that little town, as beautiful as it was. I think this is a bit more beautiful. It's very up and down there. It's quite hilly in Wales. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck me. <laughs> Excuse my language. It's quite steep. Um, I have to edit that bit out. Ah, we're in Henrid. Henrid. Lovely. I'm making good progress here. Yeah? Um, whoa. It's quite tricky though on roads you've never been on. Uh, you got to really focus every bloody bump. Anyway. Right. Oh, hello, mate. Uh, right. Anyway. <laughs> Go on. Really have to focus. Going down hills, bumps, everything. I wanted to just show the blooming mountains in front of me. Uh, they're kind of down the hill now, but you can still see them. Uh, yeah, it's just nice to be on like country roads, you know. Uh, that one then behind that I was on a minute ago, there was a, there was a bus following me for a while. Very patient, lovely, lovely bus driver. But um, yeah, it's just a bit sketchy. And then the cars behind me, and they're overtaking me as a car on coming. You're like, are you mental, mate? There's no edge, like, yeah. So, uh, you know, just goes to show. Just don't trust, don't trust drivers, man. Um, yeah, it's not. You know, some some drivers are, are, are great. Anyway, I'm rambling now. Caterpillar down then. Um, <laughs> random. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. It is literally a breath of fresh air to be out here. Um, like I said, it's beautiful up in Conway and that, but it's just too many people for uh, for this. Oh. Hello. <laughs> so um, I just stopped for a little little bite to eat, kind of kind of early lunch. So what's the time? Ah, it's nearly one o'clock. It's not early lunch at all. Ah, it's ten to one. Um, that's why I was so hungry and a little bit shaky. 
Um, I'm near a place called Castel, I think. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful little spot for lunch. Look at this. Little river. It's all my stuff. Little river, little bridge. Um, yeah, let's go and have a look down here quickly. Got sheep mating in the background. Um, how very Welsh. Um, it's beautiful, isn't it? I don't want to slip over. Um, I think this is poisonous. I might be wrong. Um, but I think it's particularly poisonous. I can't remember. The, I want to say uh, uh, hemlock. Is that hemlock? Let me know. I'll look it up myself, I suppose. But um, <laughs> probably before uh, before that. Now, I don't want to get wet. <laughs> I was going to go for a little uh, little splash in there, but I'll get wet feet. Um, anyway, oh, it feels good to have uh, put some fuel in the old in the tank. Um, a little fishy. I think I just saw a fish. Um, anyway, I'm going to carry on. I um, I just want to show you where I stopped for lunch, really, because it's very pretty. Let's go and have a little look in here. I don't know what that is hanging under the bridge. It looks like a little barrel. It's not a bee's nest or anything. Weird. I wonder what that is. Um, yeah, it's cool though. It's pretty. I like it around here. Very nice. <laughs> Let's go onto the bank and peer right down into the tunnel. Whoosh. Oh, that's grim. Um, it is like some sort of barrel. We can go right under. I wonder what that's for. It is. Look, you can see it's like a, no, it's not a barrel at all, it's like a Constantine sort of plastic rubbery thing. Yeah. I have no idea, it's got some moss growing on this side. Quality bit of echoey reverb in here. I'm literally like the troll under the bridge. <laughs> it's the Billy Goat's gruff. Oh! Nearly. <laughs> You can almost walk all the way up, can't I? I actually can. How cool is that? There we go. There's another one over there. Just hanging on the wall. You can, I don't know if you can make it out. Just here. It's exactly the same as that. But that one looks like it's looks like a piece of pipe. Piping. Maybe that is a piece of piping. Hmm. Anyway, there you go. <laughs> little under the bridge exploration. Um, I've been rambling for ages now. I'll, uh, I'm going to get off. I'm going to have a little drink. Uh, see if my phone's charged up a bit on the old uh, battery pack. And um, yeah, going to head off. See you in a bit. Look at that view. Beautiful. I've uh, I just stopped to have a little, uh, little clothing change. I thought I'm pretty warm. I was also getting a bit sore on my seat. Um, and I was wearing some uh, cycle shorts which were sent to me by my brother before I came. Very kind of him and they fit really well but they're not very padded. I was wearing my leggings um, which is really for cold weather. It's the only like long uh, you know, long-legged item I have with me is leggings. Anyway, so I had them on and my cycling short. Getting a bit bloody sore. Um, I've taken my leggings off and put on my other cycling shorts under the good-fitting ones because uh, the other ones, the elastic's gone on them, but they've got a really good padding. It's like sitting on a cushion. It's so comfy. Uh, and considering it was quite sore beforehand, that is saying something, you know. 
Uh, so yeah, cracking. <laughs> Just wanted to share that. Um, on this little road down to towards like the zipline world and stuff. It's a. Uh, I'm at the foot of the Conway Valley. I think. There we are. There's a river over there. Um, unfortunately, I've missed filming that, but maybe it will come back next to it in a minute. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. The sun's back out again, as you can see. Uh, it was a little bit cloudy earlier, but it's uh, quite a welcome break from it. Hold on, car coming. I'm going to put this down. Um, oh, anyway, I mean, it is a B road, this, but. Um, I guess in Wales, there's not that many roads to get places, maybe, I don't know. Ah, uh, B roads, they're quite busy, I suppose. I'm just chatting rubbish now. Um, anyway, I'm gonna get off. I just wanted to share my joy of how uh, how comfortable I suddenly am. Because <laughs> it was getting sore. Um, right, fit a bit. <laughs> I've made it to the place with the unpronounceable name, starting with T. <laughs> It's, I think it's T-R-E-F-W-I-R. Threshweer. Threshweer? Yeah, it's not that hard, is it? I just just got a bit jumbled up. <laughs> uh, that's if I've just spelt it right. Anyway, I'll get off here so I don't get run over. Nobody wants that on day one. Or on day eight or nine or 10. <laughs> For that matter. See you in a bit. So I had a brief stop in Threshweer. That's indeed how you pronounce it. Um, there's a nice little tea room or cafe called Mary Bella's Cafe, um, where the lady in charge was sitting outside with a couple. Um, so I stopped there, had a banging bit of chocolate orange cake, and some refreshments. And on her advice, um, I detoured off the busy road that I was on and headed towards a place called Nebo or Nebo. Um, this avoided the busier traffic B road that I was on or the A road. It would have been even worse, I imagine. Um, and yeah, more scenic, but a lot more hilly. So both a good and a bad decision. Um, uh, but ultimately one, I'm glad I took. Here we go. So there's not a lot between here and the A5, which is um, the main road running, uh, at a right angle to this, uh, about eight miles down the road. Um, so I head into a little settlement down that way where hopefully there's a, sh a shop or a pub um, it's about five o'clock now so i probably won't get there till about uh, uh probably half six i reckon uh seven at the latest and uh yeah so it starts getting dark about eight half eight so yeah if i can get somewhere for seven get some grub and a, a drink, a, uh, a nice little reward for the end of my day, day one of Wales on One Wheel. It's been fantastic. Met some lovely people. Um, yeah. Next, tomorrow is going to be pretty brutal, but also more, even more beautiful, I believe. Um, and then day three, same again. And <laughs> maybe more of both even more beautiful and even more brutal um, but you know, easing into it then that's probably the worst of it over I think obviously there's only so much you can work out from maps and stuff so uh, yeah right I'm gonna get off here get out of breath we're talking and doing this it's as if I'm unicycling up a hill <laughs> take it easy peace Epic, epic views. I'm getting a little bit tired, I gotta say. Um, yeah, this road is killer. <laughs> um, so, uh, about half a mile or so ago, I left the Snowdonia National Park. Um, and I've managed to uh, get myself booked into a little campsite. Hello, you are right? Um, yeah, I wasn't supposed to be going this way, so uh, yeah, a little detour. I've gone a bit further than I intended, which is lovely for day one. 
Woo! Um, but yeah, so I've uh, put myself in to this place. Um, it sounded like they weren't really running their campsite. He went and spoke to the boss and they're happy for me to pitch up. He's booked me a table. So uh, yeah, the Gila Arms, the Gila Arms. Uh, fantastic, I haven't even got there yet and I love them. So uh, yeah, gonna have some nice, nice food and a pint. And uh, and yeah, get get pitched up and just yeah, it'd be nice just be able to relax and uh, yeah, have a, a restful you know chilled night. No, and I've got a rush to go and set up the tent before it gets dark and all the rest of it. Blah 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 blah. It's, uh, yeah, it's a bit later than I planned really for now. Like it's uh, it's gone gone six. So uh, yeah. Anyway, I got about five miles to go if that. Um, and that's my, that'd be my first day over. So, uh, yeah, amazing start to uh, Wales on one wheel. I mean, yeah, the scenery has just blown me away from the start of the day to right now. I'm sure it's gonna continue till I get the, to, to my destination. Um, yeah, incredible, love it. Um, day two and three, both look even more amazing from what I'd done research, you know, when I'd done my research. So, um, yeah, oh, can't wait, can't wait. These views, See you soon. these views are the gift that keep on giving. Oh, look at it. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's just insane. My God, I'll tell you what, I wasn't expecting much elevation on the first day, changed my route. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that little uh, <laughs> that little elevation thing went up quite a bit. So, uh, whew, it's been intense, it's been awesome. And that mountain it, we're in the sunlight, I don't know if you can see it. Brightest one, but in the most, most distant maybe. Is, uh, it's like a pyramid, that's awesome. I, uh, my knowledge of the Snowdon range is pretty rubbish. So I don't know what mountain is Snowdon. I don't know what one is, uh, is it Carrot Id Idris or something? Carrot Idris? I'm sure that's the second highest. Anyway, that's about the extent of my knowledge. I don't know which one's which looking at the range. If we're in the lakes, different matter. But um, yeah, oh, I just had to show you again. Because <laughs> every time I look back that way, I'm like, whoa! <laughs> anyway, got to be close to my destination now. Um, sorry for the dodgy camera. I'm getting very tired up these hills, obviously. <laughs> That's an absolute breeze! <laughs> um, cool. Uh, I'm going to do a little post when I get down to the... Uh, get down to my pub and chill out and stuff. Um, let people know where I am and how far I got on my first day and then I can plan for tomorrow as well so uh, yeah happy days exciting times Woo uh, <laughs> nearly at my destination it's just gone seven o'clock uh, quite a bit later than planned but I've also gone further than planned so happy days um, I've just gone through a place called Pentrifolas um, and I mean, maybe this is kind of still loosely it, but I've already gone through the village. Um, yeah, so looking forward to getting to my campsite slash pub slash restaurant. So happy days. Sorry, I've just realized it's very blurry. Let's give it a little better. Sorry about that. Quite frankly, I can't bother to re-record. Uh, <laughs> we'll see, I might even be able to use it. So yeah, I've just been through Pentrafolas. I'm going to arrive at my destination soon. The Gillas Arms, Gilla Arms. Why did I say Gillas? Gilla Arms. Um, yeah. Uh, not going to lie, pretty tired. I have been up since about half past four this morning, um, and I've ridden maybe 50 kilometres. I'm not sure. We're going to find out in a bit because I'm going to work it all out when I get. The get to uh, the pub. Uh, yeah. Happy days anyway, still smiling. <laughs> See you soon. Cheers.
And so day one of Wales on One Wheel came to a close. Um, I landed at the Gila Arms, very thankful to have made it there and for them putting me up uh, as one of their last campers of the season. Um, I had an amazing hot shower once I got there, set my tent up um, and then swiftly went inside, uh, smashed a nice three course meal and a couple of cold beers. Um, it was just me and uh, the camping and then one other uh, couple in the field next to me um, who, had a, who had a van. So it was lovely and quiet, really peaceful, restful night. And um, yeah, and I awoke the next day to a very misty start with a, a great non-view of the mountains. Um, but that cleared up, um, as you'll see when um, you tune in next time for day two of Wales on One Wheel as I head to Lake Bala and then on to Lake Burnley. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Thanks very much. This has been Wales on One Wheel.